Podcast Bites. Back to Muscle Mind with Dr. Scott Stevenson. The other thing that happens with L-carnitine, too, is it actually desensitizes you to thyroid hormone. Mm. One of the things they can, they'll do sometimes to people who are, um, who've got taken too much thyroid or they're having a, a, a quote unquote thyroid storm is they'll administer them L carnitine because okay. it, will, it will impact, um, I think it affects like thyroid entry into the nucleus. So it basically prevents thyroid from going in and doing the things it does in terms of turning on genes. Oh, wow. You got to watch out with, with L carnitine using it too much. You can get that. Increased fat oxidation effect, but it also has a hormonal effect on how well thyroid works. So you can basically hmm. you could be youth thyroid in terms of blood work, but have hypothyroid symptoms because you're using L-carnitine. Huh. So you may still have the, the the normal levels you would expect, but those those hormones aren't going to be working as effectively for you. You're saying, right? Okay, interesting. And I don't know that I've never seen this like. Um, uh, looked at systematically huh. to see what happens because I, I don't even know if that happens, for instance, in the thyroid gland where you'd be having that feedback inhibition. Yeah. It could be that if you're using L-carnitine, I'm, I'm going to just speculate here because we like to have fun on the show and just like toss out wild ass guesses. Wag theory, one of my professors used to call it. This is a wild ass guess theory, but who knows? Okay. So it could be like if you're using L-carnitine and now you're limiting entry of of thyroid into the nucleus um, in the thyroid producing cells, the thyrotrophic cells of the thyroid, um, that could be basically bringing about um, in those cells a signal that suggests, ah, we're low on thyroid. Yeah, yeah. So it could be affecting the, the degree to which thyroid stimulating hormone works, it could be affecting the hypothalamus, you could be kind of limiting thyroid. Um, uh, activity, so you could be throwing off your your um, your thyroid hormone axis, yeah, um, in a way that could be doing all sorts of things. You've got an effect on the skeletal muscle and the other target tissues of thyroid, and you're also kind of throwing your thyroid um, hormonal axis out of whack at the same time. And maybe those don't match. I don't know exactly huh. what happens. So it's not just an, <laughs> an innocuous just, thing, then. It's not just yeah. a. You, you could you could so watch out for this. I mean, because I I yeah. know a lot of people who just think, well, it's just all carnitine. I'll just inject a bunch of it every day. And <laughs> I know John Meadows said that it does good stuff. And I'll slam some yeah. insulin with that. But it, it could so watch out. Basically, have have you heard of anybody having issues uh, in that way with thyroid? Um, you, you would. Most people are also using using thyroid hormones. So uh, at the same time, you know, okay. carnitine. So. It's one of those things where if you, I think if you start to sense that there's some like temperature, like morning temperature is not as high as it should be, those typical things that might indicate you're having a hypo hypothyroid issue, it could be from the L-carnitine. Okay. And literally, people are in an emergency state where they've got they're in what's called thyroid storm. You can like Google this or go to Google Scholar and and type in carnitine and thyroid storm. That's like a, an emergency treatment. For someone who's got too much thyroid, who's in a hyperthyroid crisis, hmm. Hmm. they'll inject them with L-carnitine because that will block, they'll basically block the action of that excess thyroid hormone. Hmm. Thyroid storm. I, I feel like I yeah. want to go in that like two weeks out from a show and just, get, right. get just dice down. Right. Time to trigger the <laughs> thyroid storm. That would be like X Men character. I am Thyroid Storm, and then when they touch you, you just all your fat melts away. I like that. Yeah, you go see them like on the on the mountain on Mount, you know, fat dissolving, and it would yeah. just touch you, and you become shredded. And, and yeah. bros would know you'd have to be on AAS, otherwise you would lose all your muscle too, right? Right. <laughs> absolutely, it did affect all, affect everything. You just shrink, you just wither up. It's like up. Oh, you you weren't geared up, brother. No wonder. <laughs> right, right. You're, you're not. You're gonna. You're doing men's physique. No bodybuilding for you. There is no box. You create that box in your mind, or someone else creates it for you. <laughs>